Good evening. I'm St. Nicholas, and I'll be reading to you the true story of St. Nicholas, who is also called Santa Claus, written by Father Foster. Once, more than a thousand years ago, in a town a long way from here, across the sea, and even across the mountains, on the other side of the sea, there were an old man and an old woman who had no children. Their names were Ephaneus and Nona. They had been married for thirty years, yet they had no children. They kept praying to God, and eventually a child was born to them. They named him Nicholas. From the time he was a boy, Nicholas loved God. When he was very young, he began to study to be a pastor. Eventually, he became the bishop. He was a good bishop, and everybody loved him. Nicholas especially loved children. There were three young girls who went to Nicholas's church. They came from a noble family, but the family had come on hard times. In those days, a girl could not marry unless she had money. These poor girls had almost no hope of getting married. Finally, it became obvious to the father that in order to buy food, the girls would have to be sold as slaves. Their father was very sad to do this, but if he didn't do it, his daughters might starve to death. As slaves, they would at least have food to eat. Nicholas heard about the family's need, so he decided to fill three bags with gold coins. 300 florins in each bag. He went to the poor family's house late at night and tossed the bags of gold through the window. The girls had washed their stockings and had hung them by the chimney to dry. Some people say that he tossed the bags of gold into the stockings. Other people say that he tossed them into their shoes. That is why children in Holland put their wooden shoes by the chimney on Christmas Eve. With the gold coins, the girls were able to marry and lived happily ever after. Bishop Nicholas lived to be an old man. He was a good pastor who always loved children. After he became very, very old, people began to call him Holy Nicholas, which is what Saint Nicholas means. But St. Nicholas can be hard to say, so eventually the name got shortened to be a nickname. Santa Claus. He began to bring gifts to children, just as he brought gifts to the three poor girls. Of course, he had lots of help. People remember St. Nicholas on December 6th. At first, St. Nicholas brought gifts to the children on the night before December 6th, but like all real saints, 
he was more interested in honoring the Lord Jesus than being honored himself. So he began to bring presents on Christmas Eve to help children remember the importance of Christmas, the day God gave us the greatest gift ever, Jesus Christ. And that's why on Christmas Eve night, stockings are hung by the chimney with care, although sometimes he leaves gift under the Christmas tree. And in Holland, he leaves the children gifts in their wooden shoes. So whenever you think of Santa Claus, remember that he was a wise and good pastor. He loved children and brought them presents to help them celebrate the birthday of the Lord Jesus so that they would remember that Jesus is the greatest gift of all. The end.